This is Tuesday. Swept and mopped, bottles made, coupons cut. Beds dressed, dishes done, and a new bowl slides through space. Surprised by its own flight from the dish rack, it hits linoleum and splits. A simple bump, disrupting, well, nothing. And here is the kettle boiled over on the stove as the laundry ran, chugged train-like into the distance and led my being back to the moment. I present to you the bone that stayed in the soup, sank so far in the pot that it evaded the ladle. It rattles out in the sink with the dregs, stands alone to be counted. One. One. Here is a shallow empire, one floor, five rooms. Bedrooms are all about the solid, sweet charm of sheets that smell familiar, the breach in dreaming when a neighbor starts his car. The bathrooms are all about five minutes in peace, a hot shower. The living room hums and flickers in accord to a current along its own score, but the kitchen is manifest destiny. And so here I sit, sipping from the scalding spoon with a shoulder's breadth of insight, about the size of a large bird. In the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, there was lightness of being. The bone was not a bone, but a piece of a chicken. Billions of years of evolution, architecture, and puppetry balanced on a delicate foot. And now, it's all erased in an aromatic puff of steam that smells gloriously of dinner. Tapping along the spine, counted out in ticks that progress no further than one. This fact is a slender thing, the tines of a fork wedged between somber edges, prying in its own time to open you wide in one soft burst of mothering and the daily promise of creation. Yantif, Lashana Tova, and have a lovely Rosh Hashanah. Thanks for hanging out today. I'll catch you up soon. Take care.